Microsoft has a built-in remote desktop program, which lets you connect to other computers. It works by putting in the remote computer name, the username and password, and then hitting connect. It's used by millions of people and many corporations worldwide. Now, are these credentials secure, or is it possible for an attacker to capture them and connect to the remote computer? Keep watching to find out. So today I'll be showcasing this tool right here. Sharp RDP Thief, made by Pash the Hasbro made by Pass the Hash Browns. This program injects a DLL into the remote desktop process, which captures the username and password. So let's see how it works. Yeah, so for some reason it gets detected as a virus, so I'm gonna disable my antivirus for a bit. So before I show you guys how RDP Thief works, first I wanna show you guys what a normal RDP connection looks like. So here I have my Windows 10 VM. To open remote desktop, we just have to go down to the search bar, type remote desktop, and here it is. Now we can put in the computer name or the IP address. So let's put in the IP address. So this is the IP address of my VM. So we're just gonna type that in. We hit connect, we type in the password. Yes. And just like that, we're remotely connected to our VM and it's a fully interactive desktop. Now I'm gonna show you guys what RDP Thief does. cmd.exe, uh, okay guys, pro hacker tip, if the prompt is really long and it's annoying because you have no space to type, you can type prompt, whatever you want, and then dollar sign G. Okay, so anyway, let's run it. Sharp P thief. Okay, it says it's waiting for the mstsc.exe process, which is actually the name of the RDP process. So now if we open up remote desktop, attempting to inject into process, hook in place. So what basically happened is that it injected a DLL, which is waiting to capture the username and password. For those of you that don't know, a DLL is an external function that exe files call because it's more efficient than actually keeping it inside of the exe file. But this can be exploited by attackers. They can force an executable to use a DLL file, but the DLL file has some malicious functions like this one. In process hacker, right here, we see the remote desktop application. And if I look at what DLLs it's using, so it's using all of these DLLs. And if we scroll down a bit, Aha, uh -huh. easyhook.dll, easyhook64, easyload. These are all DLLs used by Sharp RDP Thief to capture the username and password. Now let's connect to my VM and see what happens. Okay, asks for the password. And we connected just like last time. Now if we go to Sharp RDP Thief, so it's a little messy, but it does have the information that we need. Okay, so first potential password. No, this is not the password I used. But Microsoft account administrator, yes, administrator is the user account that I used. So they have the user account. Now the second potential password, password one, two, three, which actually, yes, it is the password. Now, if the attacker had this output, he would literally just be able to connect to my VM and any valuable info that I have on there, gone. Now, if you guys want to prevent this from happening to you, so your RDP credentials won't be stolen, after you put in the IP address and the username of the remote computer, you want to click on show options and check the allow me to save credentials box. Now, when you connect to the PC, it's going to ask you for the password and make sure the remember me box is checked. So you will have to enter the password once, but after that, it'll automatically log you in without needing the password. Now let's connect to my VM with the saved credentials and see if RDP thief can get the password. Okay. Okay. So RDP thief already injected into the process. We're going to hit connect. Yes. And we have the remote desktop connection. Now, if we look back to RDP Thief, we see that it doesn't have any output and that it didn't capture the username or password. So make sure to save your RDP credentials if you want to be safe from this attack. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, I can see my username and password if I run this attack on myself. But how is an attacker going to see them? Because the window was right there on the desktop. There's no way they're supposed to hide it from me and somehow see it. How does that work? Well, there actually is a way for attackers to remotely execute this and they'll see the output of sharp RDP thief with the window being hidden for you. Stick around because I'll explain that in my next video. And if I already made it, I'll put it somewhere in the cards above. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys next time.